Hi and welcome to the second video of setting up Family Browser for Revit 2012. Um, in the first video we installed Family Browser and then we positioned it and stretched the box to um, Family Browser to the size we want. In this video I'm going to show you how to add groups and tabs so that you can then start inserting your families. So the first thing we need to do, we've got a blank family browser here, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a group. Now a group is a grouping of directories that hold Revit families. So I'm going to go add a group and because I want this um, shared with other users um, on my network I've put it in a shared folder um, that everyone else can see. So I'm going to name this group design. I'm, I'm wanting a grouping of design tabs or fol folders. Okay, so now we've got design up in the group selector. I'm going to add another group. And we'll go back to where we were before. I'm going to call it documentation. Okay, so now we've got two groups, one for design and one for documentation. Okay, I'm going back to the design group. I'm going to now add a tab. Now a tab is a basically a folder that contains Revit families. So I'm going to my server, to my shared location, and I'm going to um, want a tab of doors. And by default it takes the folder name and names it doors. You can then override that and name it anything you like, but I'm going to accept the default and go OK. And what it does is it goes away, it finds all the families in that folder and then creates icons for them. OK, I'm going to add another tab. And it sh uh, remembers where you were previously. This tab's going to be Windows. And I'll add one more tab. Um, bathroom. Okay, so I've got now got three tabs um, in the design. And now I'm going to go to the documentation group. This time I'm going to do it slightly direction different. I'm going to go add a directory. Now what this does is exactly the same as adding a tab, except. Uh, it will add all the folders underneath the directory that you um, select. So I'm going to select documentation and there's six different folders under documentation. If I go OK and OK, it then goes away and creates tabs for each of those directories. So that's a quick and fast way of creating your tabs. So now we've got two groups, one for design, one for documentation and now ready to insert those into your Revit project which I'll run through in the next tutorial.